Dr. Janesh and back now with health and wellness questions from you, our viewers. Here's the question. I feel this question so much. How do I make the healthiest choice when selecting lunch meat at the mm, deli counter? Okay, listen, I love a nice turkey sandwich as much as uh, I was about to say everybody for does. I love it. However, a lot of processed meats, aka deli meats, aka lunch meats, are really not good for us, you know, if it's something that's going to be eaten on a regular basis or, you know, in a quantity. Are you okay? You look sad after I know. you <laughs> She really did. You're so right, DeMarco. She went like this. <laughs> she did. Uh, no, I keep deli meat in my refrigerator for when I'm hungry so I don't end up eating chips, you so know what I mean? So here's the thing. Processed meats, you know, have been linked to a variety of types of cancers. Mm. Um, because of the preservatives that are in there, they can be obviously loaded with salt. Um, so there are some tricks. Go for a lower fat, leaner cut if you're, you know, going to be participating in this kind of culinary ritual. Um, <laughs> it's better. I'm like Dr. Jin, sometimes it's, I don't. <laughs> I <know. laughs> I'm like, man. It's better if you can see um, at the deli counter them slice the meat off, you know, the, the larger kind of piece. Um, rather than in a package, but sometimes we all, for convenience or cost, you know, go reach for those packages. So, uh, you know, as you know, in moderation, once in a while, fine, on a regular, regular basis. It's just not one of the healthier choices. What sorry. about the one that I'm looks sorry. like the actual turkey? <laughs> you know what I mean? They have it. But remember, it's <laughs> processed, so there are preservatives. There are, unfortunately, those are chemicals, and they are loaded with salt. Mm. She breaks your heart so kindly, though. She's yeah. always kind. And I really? thought I was being healthy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Well, let's talk about your prescription for wellness. Okay, it has to do with, you know, how to choose the healthier types of oils as we're cooking, um, because there are so many. They all have different flash points. That's the temperature that they can withstand stand in the cooking process, so you can look that up. But for stir frying, peanut, sesame, soybean oil are great choices for that. Uh, for sauteing, something I've never done in the kitchen, that's uh, way above my level, uh, canola and olive oil are the good ones. And then for dressings on your salad or dips, flaxseed and walnut oil, really, really good with any type of oil, even mm. olive oil because we're big fans of Yes, oil. we are. <laughs> <laughs> Just in moderation, right? You don't want to overdo it because oil is still oil at the end of the day. Always with the best advice. And you can send us your medical questions right here to ABC GMA 3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.